Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here at Thrive Dental and Orthodontics, and I have been making a ton of videos just internally for a Thrive crew, and they are a bunch of videos just trying to teach them the basics of dentistry, of orthodontics, of what restorations are, what, you know, what cleanings are, all that good stuff, and so I thought this might be beneficial for some of you guys here on YouTube, uh, which with each one of our videos that I'm presenting to our staff, there's a series of these like educational videos, but unfortunately I cannot show those on YouTube because those are not ours and I don't wanna disperse this without permission. But either way, I will give you the parts that I do by myself. If you wanna learn more and have these little other videos, you can go to bitebank.com. That is where I get a lot of our videos. Um, but yeah, I just thought I'd share this with you. So this first video is all about dentistry, like how you number teeth, how um, what the surfaces of the teeth are, and all that good stuff. So pretty basic dentistry stuff. So if you enjoy this, please subscribe, and I hope you learn a few things about dentistry. Hey guys, it's Dr. Nate here, and I just got a great idea from the ladies in McKinney, so shout out to Bethany and Yorelli. And they were saying when they got onboarded or when they started in our offices, they would have loved some just kind of general basic dental knowledge. You know, when you've been in the field for a while, you kind of forget the basics, or you don't forget the basics, you just forget how like simple it is, but if you've never heard it, then obviously you don't know it. So that is what we're gonna do today. We're gonna go over some of the basics. We're gonna go over some of the basics of like what preventative stuff is, what cleanings are, and then in another video, we're gonna go over restoratives like crowns and all that fun stuff. But today is just the kind of like the basics of dentistry. So I call this Basics of Dentistry 101. All right, guys, so let's start off with the basic, basic, basics. What are teeth? How do we number them? Let's go through it. So we in general, uh, well, with general dentists, it's a little bit different than orthodontics, but we're gonna focus on general dentistry. You start off with tooth number one, and that's on the top right. That is your wisdom tooth on the top right. And then you count all the way around. So you go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, all the way to 16 on the top left, which is your top left wisdom tooth. Go down to the bottom left, which is 17, all the way to the bottom right, which is 32. So normally we say people have 32 teeth. Obviously, um, some people will have more, some people will have less, but that's how it goes. One through 16, 17 through 32, and that is how you number teeth. Easy peasy. What kind of teeth or what shapes and how does that all work and what, what are the teeth called? All right, the front two teeth are called centrals. This next side teeth are called laterals. These ones are called canines, so there's a sharp teeth. Then you have two sets of premolars, so two premolars, two premolars. And then in general, you have three molars. You have your first molar, second molar, third molar. With premolars, we'd say first premolar, second premolar. All right, and also, sometimes instead of calling them centrals and laterals, we'll just call them incisors. So I know it gets a little weird because you have all these different names for these different things. So remember, centrals, laterals, combined, sometimes we call them incisors, and then we have canines, and then sometimes if you combine all six of those teeth, you will call those anterior teeth. That just means front teeth. So sometimes all six of those are combined to call, be said, or they'll be called anterior teeth. Everything behind those, so we call them the premolars and the molars, will be called posterior teeth, or the back teeth, okay? Review it, I know it gets a little confusing. Centrals, laterals, so it's four teeth combined are called sometimes incisors. Then we have canines. All six of those would be the anterior teeth, the front teeth. Then you have two premolars and then three molars. So first, second, and third molar, third molars, most of the time we call those wisdom teeth. Anything that is premolar and back, we call those the posterior teeth. And I know I'm just doing stuff on the top, but top and bottom, same thing, okay? So teeth number, one through 16, 17 through 32, we got the centrals, laterals, canines, anterior teeth, premolars, molars are the posterior teeth. I know that's fast, but you can rewind and figure it all out and, and kind of go back if you need to, okay? Other than that, we have surfaces of teeth, and I'm gonna have to have some infographics because it's gonna be kind of hard to understand, but this is, we use every single day, every single patient, so this is really important. You have mesial and distal surfaces of teeth. 
Mesial just means towards the midline, towards the center, okay, the center of our face. So say I was talking about this tooth here, my upper right central incisor. The mesial surface of that would be in between the two teeth, right in between right there, okay, right in the middle, that would be the mesial surface. The distal surface, distal is going towards the back, distal is towards the back, mesial is towards the front. So the distal surface of this guy would be in between my lateral and my um, incisor. That would be the distal surface of this tooth right there. Once again, the infographic is going to make, make it have a little more sense, okay? So that's the, the, the sides. We also have front and back. So there's two names, really, we use for the front surfaces of the teeth. The front surface can be called facial, or like the facial side, the front side, or buckle. Sometimes we'll call it the buckle side if it's more towards the back. So facial is this, the face, the front surfaces, and buckle is the kind of same thing, front surfaces, but normally we, we're talking more about posterior teeth, the back teeth. That's the front surface, okay? The lingual surface is going to be the inside. The lingual is the back side of the teeth, okay? So we have four surfaces. Mesial towards the midline, distal towards the back. We have facial or buccal, then lingual surfaces of the teeth. All right, that is the basic anatomy of teeth and teeth numbering. So now let's talk about the next thing. We're going to talk about periodontal probing or cleanings or deep cleanings and prophies. And right after this, we're going to have some videos that's going to explain these in detail from Bite Bank. So if you don't know what's going on, and if you're like, oh my gosh, I don't know anything dentistry, Bite Bank, which I'll probably put the link right here, Bite Bank is amazing resource that we have right now. It might be something different in the future, but it has all these educational videos of like, I think it's multiple hundreds, a couple hundred different procedures we do at our offices. But let's talk about periodontal probing. We do this on most of our patients, definitely all adult patients, Periodontal probing is just measuring the health of the gums. Okay, so in general, if the periodontal probe number is lower, you have a healthier gums, and if it's bigger, you have unhealthy gums. And the videos are gonna help make it more sense, but when the hygienist or the dentist goes in there, they probe, they check the health or the, the thickness or the height of the gums. If you have you know, all this attachment loss, your gums are unhealthy, you can have these high numbers like fours, five, six, sevens, eights, hopefully not more than that, but it could be more than that. If you hear them call out and they're saying, oh, they're, the probing depths are like ones and twos and maybe some threes, you in general have really healthy gums, which is good. So if you have really healthy gums, most of the time you're just going to need a prophy. We call it prophy, it's prophylactic treatment or healthy gums treatment, or there's a bunch of different words, but prophy is probably the most common thing. And that is when your gums are healthy, teeth are relatively healthy, and we're just doing kind of like an easy cleaning, super easy. Um, they'll still use these different instruments, but it's a relatively easy cleaning. If you have deeper pockets, pocket depths, you know, are four and greater, and there's some bleeding, then you may need a deep, or not, maybe, hopefully not you, but the patient may need a deep cleaning. And that is normally when you go in there and you numb, you get the person all numb so they can't feel it, and you have to go really deep, and you do, you do something called an SRP. You're gonna hear that all the time, and that is scaling and root planing. So we're basically going on to the roots and taking off all the plaque and tartar. What the heck is plaque and tartar? It's a plaque. Plaque is stuff that you can remove easily. So plaque is the stuff that um, hopefully you don't see on your teeth. We've seen some patients' teeth and that's just like the white fuzzy stuff, stuff that you can remove with brushing. So tons of people have plaque. If you're eating at the end of the day, before you go to bed, you're brushing off all the stuff. Most of the time you're brushing off plaque. What is tartar or calculus? Most of the time in dentistry, we'll call it calculus. Other people may call it tartar, but tartar or calculus is that really, really tough stuff you cannot get off by just brushing. That's what the hygienist or the dentist has to help the patient get off. And that's when they use those tools and they have to go in there and scrape and do all that stuff. Just because you have plaque and, or just because you have tartar or calculus doesn't necessarily mean you need a deep cleaning, but tartar and calculus is just that tough, like tough, tough stuff to get off that the regular person can't get off by themselves at home.
Something else you're gonna to get to know very, very, very well is dental coating. Okay, so dental coating is something that takes a while to fully, fully grasp, but it is codes that are associated with certain procedures. So say you come into our office and you come in for just your normal exam, you're gonna have a couple codes associated with that particular procedure. If you come and get a cleaning, you're gonna have certain codes associated with that procedure. So most of the time codes are segmented into similar type procedures. So if you have ortho, because that's what I do, most of those codes are in the 8,000s. So it would be like D8060 or D8080 or something along those lines. Most of the ortho codes are within that area. Other codes, extractions, are within their certain area. Periodontal stuff with cleaning or um, you know, prophylaxis, those will be within a certain coding region as well. So codes are in general clumped into like-minded procedures. So cleanings will be in certain codes, extractions in certain codes, fillings in certain, certain codes, and they'll be grouped together. Codes are very, very specific per procedure. So if you were doing um, a one surface filling, and we can talk about surfaces, and I know we talked about surfaces, but I'll talk about the different fillings here in a second. But if you're doing one surface filling, that code is gonna be different than a two surface, which is gonna be different than a three and four. And also if you use composite, which is the tooth colored filling material, that coating may be slightly different than an amalgam. It also will depend on where the tooth is located. A posterior tooth um, code is gonna be different than a front or anterior tooth code. So coating is super, super, super specific. I don't expect you initially to know each individual code, but a lot of them are already pre-programmed into Open Dental. So for instance, when you do, when the dentist or the assistant or the front desk or whoever is making a code for um, a posterior filling, maybe a two surface filling, we will put it in there and it's like this quick code and it will already pop up the code. So most people don't know every single code off the top of their head, but Open Dental does. So you just go, cool, I wanna do a filling on this tooth and Open Dental goes, cool, this is code number two, six, something, something. And so you don't need to know them all, but you, do, you should know that each individual, individual code is very, very specific to what it's doing. All right, so we now know the different surfaces of the teeth and we know a little bit about coating. So we can also talk about the fillings and how come they have multiple surfaces. And one of the ladies asked me that, and so I want to explain this really well so you understand this. A one surface filling is just one surface. And so most of the time that's gonna be on the top of the tooth. So we'd say a one surface filling may just be the occlusal or the top portion of the tooth. A two surface filling is gonna be two surfaces. So it might be the top, and then the mesial, remember mesials towards the midline. Three surface is gonna be three surfaces. So maybe it's gonna be top, mesial, and distal. That's probably the most common. So if somebody needs a three surface filling, you know it's probably the top, mesial, and distal of the, of the tooth. That's the difference between a one surface, two surface, three surface. You can have four surfaces, you can have five. That would be kind of like everything. But there's different surfaces or there's different codes for each surface of the tooth. But one tooth is just gonna have one code most of the time if you're doing a filling. I don't wanna to get too much into codes because it gets really complicated and we're gonna have different modules about that. But if, you were do, if you're gonna get a filling on the top and the mesial and the distal, that's not three separate codes, that's just one code. So it'd be one specific code for three surface filling. Okay, hopefully I'm not losing you, but I wanna review just a little bit. So you know the teeth numbering one through 32, you know the surfaces of the teeth, mesial towards the midline, distal towards the back, facial buckle would be towards the, the front or towards the outside, linguals towards the inside, and I just mentioned another one there just recently, occlusal is on the top, you'll also have something called incisal, which is on the top as well, and that's more towards the front of the teeth. We're going through a lot of information here. Hopefully you are keeping up. Remember, there's a quiz at the end of this, so hopefully you're keeping up. Okay, so you do know a lot of information now. Um, I think it's easiest if I go into some videos, and remember this is gonna be on ByteBank, and you can look at tons of video. Just go to ByteBank, our information is probably already logged in there. And we are gonna go over kind of some of the basics. You know, the basics of what a Profi is, what an SRP or a, a scaling root planning is. So what a probing is and some of the some of the basics the next videos are going to go through restorative right now we're just focusing on cleaning and the basics 
All right, guys, so enjoy, and there will be a quiz 